My name's uh, Lachlan Chilman, I'm from Biological Services. Uh, we're one of the largest biological control companies in Australia. Uh, we have one in sector in Western Australia and one in South Australia. And we produce a, a range of 20 different predators and parasites that we use in a range of different crops around Australia. We're in uh, Pempernon, we're at a um, quite a large uh, avocado farm run by Wendy and Phil and Jared French. And uh, we're in yeah, southern Western Australia. The reason we came to Pemperton is because they have a, a pest called Six Spotted Mite and it uh, builds up in the uh, avocado orchards and causes defoliation of the trees. Uh, this Six Spotted Mite is a new pest, it's only really established in the last three or four years. And along with the Department of Agriculture, based in Manjimup and Biological Services, has been had a project about releasing different types of predators and prey into the orchards to try and reduce the need of chemicals. Our interest and the growers' interest is uh, we want to reduce the chemicals, but putting out these prey mites or predators on every tree in an avocado is, is very hard. It's not like strawberries where you can release um, quite easily. These trees are six metres tall um, and it's very big acreage down here. So manually putting them out with an avocado picking machine is, is possible but very hard. So for us and for the growers to find an alternative that's um, cost cost effective and, and quick to release these predators and prey is, is what we're trying to do here at Yamaha. So we're in Pemberton uh, in West Australia. Uh, we're down here to do a trial uh, to release pet, uh, predatory mites on avocado plantations. Probably about 18 months ago we did a trial over corn releasing the mites over that. It was fairly successful. It was under a, uh, a manually flown Armax and uh, was quite su successful, so he's asked us to come across with a bit more challenging terrain and higher trees and so forth over here. It's not unusual for the phase of this type of work, it's kind of really built for this, you know, uh, difficult areas and, and high trees and it's a very stable platform to, to operate with, so it's pretty pretty uh, normal day of work for us. So with the autonomous uh, version we can carry about 35 kilos uh, the vermiculite we put now we put out in, in a litre each, which is very light uh, material. So we put about 30 litres. We're trying to cover around 15 litres per hectare as our target. So the model we're using at the moment, we, we can fly for around 90 minutes of flight time. Uh, most of our other models will fly for around an hour's flight time, but typically, you know, a hectare is not going to take that long. It's probably going to take you know five to ten minutes to do, actually do a hectare. Everything going to plan. Yeah, it's going good. So what we're trying to establish today is just uh, uh, the height to release to get the best penetration. Uh, the phaser does have a quite strong downwash, normally for distributing um, liquid chemical. So we're just making sure the vermiculite's gonna stay in the top of the tree, so we might be altering our height to try and get the best outcome. Yeah, so um, with the machine that Yamaha has, it um, basically can, from what we can see, it, it flies directly over the top of the tree, um, over the, the straight line of the, uh, the orchard, of the, of the rows, and releases the prey on the predator four metres wide over the tree. Um, we've done some, already some scouting out there, and we can see the distribution's pretty even, um, and it looks, looks quite promising. Thank you.